Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about. Uh, I have a list of uh, uh, string values, and it it contains the duplicate entries. So basically, I need to find out what are the duplicates and how many count of them. Like kind of uh, find out the uh, number of occurrence for each and every little string. Okay. So let's try. Okay, so I just created a new class for that. Okay, let's write a uh, list of string here. So list of string equal to items item. Okay, so what we can use uh, a list dot s list. So we can pass the data here. So what are the items which we can use it? Uh, let me import the data. Sorry, package. So what kind of items we can use it? Uh, okay, so computer application. I mean, the the hardware to replace. Okay, uh, I have a CPU. So I can get this uh, CPU. And I have monitor. And I have a keyboard. And mouse. And I have another duplicate CPU and another is uh, mouse. Let me have one more mouse. Okay. So when I run the program, what it has to return, right? So my CPU occurrence two and monitor one and keyboard one and mouse three. Okay, I, I want that, that kind of outcome, okay? So what we are going to do is, to do that, uh, we have to convert this uh, app a map first, okay? I'm going to take a, I'm going to write as a map. So, string and comma and the long, which is nothing but the length, okay? So, result. Okay, I need to input the data. Okay, input the data package, okay? So what I'm gonna do is uh, I have a list items. Okay, let me use that. Item start uh, stream. Dot. I'm going to collect as a map for now. The first thing. Collect and here. So into the collect, what we are gonna do? Okay. Inside the collect, I'm going to use the group by so when you use the group by I can use what is the value which are going to group by and what is the additional things which we can do so when you use the collect you have to make sure we always go for the collectors collectors okay collectors which is there in the stream and collectors dot and we have something called grouping by and uh, under the grouping by we can use the function dot identity here function dot identity and uh, what is the next parameter and uh, second one is again I'm going to use the collectors collectors dot here we have a method called counting which will take in care of counting the number of words okay. okay that's done so what else we need here okay so just take a look at it I have a collector here and group by function and function it has ident here you can use something like this also as we discussed earlier a okay you can use something like this also because both are same okay so let's use the function identity here so let me uh, print this so, so result okay let me run this see this is what we got it monitor one and mouse three and CPU twice and keyboard one okay this is the simplest way to find out the duplicates and uh, 
grouping it and finding the number of occurrence okay just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any issues i i hope you guys enjoy the video please do subscribe my channel thank you